Hello everyone, this is Cesar and today we are going to repair this case. And what happened to this case? This is an original 1994 American Gibson case, right? And you can basically notice that because when you open the case, you are going to have the famous sheet to cover your, your guitar, right? In this case, the pink one, right? And one of the latches is a combination one, and this is precisely what is broken. And what happened to the case? Well, uh, if you follow my channel, you probably know that I've been living in several countries for working reasons, because of working reasons. And when we were sent to Egypt, when my shipment arrived to customs and they went through the guitars, I made a mistake and I locked this one, right? Uh, you will notice that the American uh, vintage, let's say, cases, uh, are different than the ones that we have today. I'm going to show you, right? Uh, because of the sheet and also because of this latch. This latch in the vintage cases, in the old cases, let's say, uh, was a combination one. And simply they could not open it and they went through it, but they broke it. This is the way it came back to me, you see, with these two big screws. So I've been looking for, uh, for a replacement for that uh, combination latch. And it was not an easy task, eh? but I found one I'm going to show you now. But before that, let's see the two different cases so you, you can see the difference, right? So you see, the one in the upper part is the new models, right? It's the case that the new models have. And as you see, this latch is a normal one. It has here kind of a security lock in order to put another, an additional lock, right? But when you open the, the case, it does not have the famous sheet, right? So, as you see, the cases look alike, but they are not exactly the same. Let me show you the part that I found to replace the combination latch. So, that's the package. I just cover my address in order to not to dox myself. Let's open it. It says fragile here, you see, fragile. So we've got, we've got here the instructions. And the guy says that he has included four additional rivets in the longer size in case you need them on the square lock portion, which is always welcome. Retro guitar parts, how to install the rivets, uh, it's also welcome. And you see, <laughs> it's a nice part of the package. So we can appreciate the price of the seafood and the different <laughs> types of objects, right? <laughs> and groceries and wine. This is a, and here we go, right? So this is what we are looking for. Yeah. This is the combination latch right so we are going to install this in the case the rivets are here 10 rivets but with me for a second and we will start the process of course it's going to look newer right it's going to look much much let's say polished and new than the already rusty ones that the the case has is a 1994 case but it's gonna do the job so you get the idea, we have to replace the part where the combination is and we have to install the latch here, right? Well, in this, in this way, of course, right? The right way. But it looks to me like this is a little bit smaller. It may very well be that this is totally battered and it has already lost the shape, right? So let's see how the gig goes. The first thing we need to do is to get rid of these enormous screws that the Egyptian authorities put there in order to <laughs> send the case, the guitar, back to me. The guitar was in perfect condition. Eh? Uh, they simply needed to inspect the case and I made the mistake of locking the combination uh, so they could not open it and this is why they basically went and forced the case. Uh, uh, this is why I always do insist uh, in my videos where I am explaining how to travel uh, 
in planes with your guitars that you should never lock the case. You should close it, but you should never lock it with the key. Eh? And if you have a combination latch like this one, you should never lock the combination. You simply lock, uh, close it and that's it. So this is how it looks. What I don't know is if the rivets, here, you see the rivet, one of the rivets here, are gonna do the job because now we have these holes there and are big ones, right? Let's, let's try because I think that in the other ones it's gonna be okay. So as you see, we will have to go through the velvet, right? Through this fabric. So we will need to cut here with a cutter, with a blade, our access to go through that and then glue it back, right? So let's see, we have our handy blade here. And carefully, the patient today is not gonna feel pain, at least. <laughs> okay, so you get the idea. So those rivets go here, right? Okay, and as I said, it looks to me like this is really a little bit smaller. So probably we are going to need to dig new holes in this side of the latch for the new rivets. Well, let's see how it goes. What we will need to do, that's for sure, is to drill new holes because yes, it is smaller. And to drill the new holes, we are gonna use our Dremel tool. So carefully, one, and two. And then the rivets will have to go through the new holes. One, and two. You see, right? This one, the third one is gonna be a little bit complicated because the wood was really very, very much damaged over there. But we will try, we will try. We will open them, slam them with a hammer in order to get them fit. And that should be the way it has to look. Well guys, don't tell me that I don't go into trouble to give you a good perspective. Look at the operation here on the upper part of the case. The GoPro looks like a spider shooting at the interior of the case. So you can basically see what I'm doing. The idea is the next one. The idea is that you, that we have to make the rivets go through here, right? Sorry. Sorry for the earthquake at the GoPro. And then we will need to basically open this rivet. Right? We can do it with uh, our pliers, uh, but before that, what I will do is open the rivets with our trusty screwdriver. And then what we need to do is basically Open them, open them legs, right, of the rivet. And once it's open, with the pliers, we will put pressure so the latch is secure. So this is the perspective from the inside. So as you see, let me just take this part. Once the fabric is glued back, uh, this is going to look very good. But the idea is that those are the rivets, you see, right? Okay. And the one that I have had to fight a bit is this one, because uh, I have had to find exactly a piece of wood that it could bite, right? Because of the horrible screw that was there, but it's really very stiff. It doesn't move at all. Let me show you from the outside, okay? So this is how it looks like at the front. Very, very stiff. It doesn't move, right? Uh, I have scratched here a bit, the metal, but it's gonna fit with the rest of the case, with the rest of the 1994 latches, okay? <laughs> well, anyway, so now let's go and fix the upper part of the latch in order for the lock to be functional, okay? Okay, so we have already done the surgery, as you see, 
you see that here there are fibers of wood because it's pretty much glued so what happens is when you cut uh, the, the, the wood stays there glued into the fabric we are going to make the holes a bit better with our Dremel tool a bit bigger right in order for the rivets to go through simple process okay one and two so the rivets will go through better bender wants to come in so i have to open the door for bender come on bender you stay or you go man come on oh, yeah he just came in sit sit here sorry sorry about that and now what we have to do is to attach the uh, lock right of the latch so what we are going to do is we're going to pass the rivet through the hole two of them of course and then open the rivet properly and the process is gonna take us i'm totally convinced less than the other one because it is in a better position to work okay so let's simply first kind of mark them there we go and now let me give you a closer perspective well i don't know how well are you going to be able to see this but the idea is to open the rivets and then forcing the legs of the rivets to buy the wood okay this is done and the second one is done too okay so solid okay and now it's time to glue the fabric with our wonderful gorilla super glue okay simple process is the one that is kind of jelly right so let's apply without any fear our super glue our gorilla super glue gorilla super glue good and now simply let's put a bit of pressure here okay so here you can see a perspective of the compartment once the fabric is glued back and now let's see if everything is operational okay so here we have our case and it works perfectly right very good right? very stiff perfect we will fix the combination later it doesn't move at all because now it's the three zeros don't forget the advice if you're gonna ship a guitar inside of one of those cases with the combination locker don't lock it you can close it you can leave it like this so they will simply push the button and then they will open the case and you don't have to break into your case okay well i hope you have enjoyed this little repair and if so please hit subscribe don't forget to click the notification bell a lot of my subscribers are telling me that they are not receiving any notification when i upload a new video see you very soon in my next videos and up to that moment as always play your guitars have fun and be good bye